Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing Vinland Saga. These last couple of episodes, I mean pretty much the whole show, but I'm kinda biased because last episode was definitely my favorite episode, I can say it for sure. I've really liked how they did that episode. The speech that Priest was giving about the love, and at the same time we see the battle between Thorfinn and Torkel and Prince Kanute realizing what it truly means to love and that is essentially to love everyone so because we are surrounded by love that does not discriminate right the sun the grass the trees everything is love right and only people cannot love everyone and yet god is pushing us to seek that love for everyone and when prince kanuta realized that he uh, i guess wanted to rebel against that he was upset at god for putting people to trials and essentially what he wants from people is impossible to reach by people but he wants to create that paradise and love for everyone and he changed a lot i was really surprised to see him like that and i'm so interested in future of denmark and his relationship with the king because i think that when prince kanute gets in touch with king again that king will recognize his uh, evolution and he will perhaps change his mind but we will see we are yet to see Harald and how he operates, but I guess he's going to be that typical Viking leader, just like King Swain, right? So I can't wait to see more of this fantastic show. But before that, we have to see Kanute going to Torkel, Thorfinn and Askela to see what is going to happen. Askela specifically will really like this change in Prince, because... Uh, he was seeking that, he wanted Prince to be like that and he recognized that Prince is a good-natured man and it reminded him of Thor's, that's why he uh, had a vision of Thor's when he was talking about Prince a couple of episodes ago. And also that rematch battle with Torkil and Thorfinn was quite interesting as well. Thorfinn is always so close but he can't risk it man if he overstays and makes a wrong step one shot from Torkel and he's going down but at this point it's pretty interesting because I doubt that Torkel wants him dead man I don't really know but they are pride warriors at the end of the day and they uh, see duel as something really serious and it's a battle to death so <laughs> it's kind of interesting but yeah that kick of Torkel's didn't quite land but it launched Thorfinn so far up in the air and I think he's hurt right now so the battle might be over. I'm super excited for next episode so without further ado let's jump right into it. Alright everything is ready let's begin guys. <laughs> he's getting his consciousness back. Man I love Thorkil so much. He's such a great character. Yeah! Snap back to reality. United Front. <laughs> oh my god! Look at his fucking arm! It's broken, man. What is going on with Askelad? Bro, please tell me that Askelad is going to live through this. <laughs> Fuck off, Baldi! <laughs> he keeps calling him Baldi. Oh my god! Yes! Please! Please! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is going to be great! Both of them were captains. Hell yeah. I miss him, man. 
トロルとあだなされるほどにな。狩猟のシグバルディはやつを気に入り。OK、so this is Sigvaldi, right? Wow. This is Thorfinn's grandpa, man. And this is Helga, I assume. <laughs> yeah, my man. So, s t e l o a n i d e m o r t h a s his great uncle. Yep, you have been fighting him the whole time. Oh, yeah, where, where he faked his death. Episode one. Oh, wow, look at Torkel crying, bro. The pace of Yom's Vikings. Yo, of course, he had to go and get Helga. And it's, it seems like she's carrying a baby. It's Yelva. And Torkel knew he was there. Oh, wow, did he fight him? Oh, he didn't realize that it's him. Holy shit. Yeah, he's alive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this is great. He really liked him, man. Just like a common peasant. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what is going on here. No, no. Stop. Yeah. For Iceland. And I bet the Torkel kept his promise. I will not fight again. Wait, wow. yeah, he, he figured out that there is more to life than just fighting and killing others. I understand what it means to be a true warrior. A true warrior needs no sword. Wow, damn! Torkin doesn't like that answer. Somewhere not here! Oh my god, that was the title of the episode! Yo, this is so fucking good! Don't need it, oh my god! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Thor's was such a beast, man. <laughs> knocked him out real quick. The soul and where it lies. Uh yeah. Yeah, he's full of rage. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Oh my god, Thorfinn, chill the fuck out, my man. <laughs> oh, what? We are still going. Most of Ellis, his warrior's pride. Yeah. 
Oh my god, this Askeladd really gonna help him beat him. But he, he's broken. He, his arm is fucked up. Oh my god, bro. Askeladd and Thorfinn against Thorkel. <laughs> oh my god. They want to get killed by Thorkel. Freya. Oh my god. You're gonna change your mind's real sword. A real fucking sword, yeah. And Freya is not bad at all, bro. Oh my god, bro. Yep, he's definitely going for the kill. Holy shit. Oh, Askeladd's words. This is Askeladd. Wait, what? Oh, wow! Yo, so Askeladd knows something that can put him down. And he probably told that to Torfin. Make him think that you're out of ideas, okay? Oh, this is it. This is what, what Askeladd is talking about. Okay, so this is all part of the plan. Oh my god, Askeladd blinded him! Yo! I mean, it's that, that's everyone's weakness, bro. Wait, he's going down after that kick, bro! Urkel is out! I can't fucking believe this shit. <laughs> Neither can Thorfinn, apparently. Oh my god, did he stop his eye, bro? What the fuck is going on? No way, bro. Yeah. It's Thorkel. Thorkel won't allow that shit to happen, bro. Oh my god, he sighed. Oh my god, look at him. This is straight up Broly right now. He looks exactly like Broly. Look at the hair and everything. <laughs> He's a fucking madman. Oh my god, that was his friend. Oh, Kanute is here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be realized immediately, bro. Look at his face. <laughs> wow. Wow. Gonna see Thorgrim, his brother. Oh, Atli. Yeah. Wait. So he really isn't dead, or is he just like in that pose? Oh, so that's what they meant, bro. Oh my god. So he went insane. That's why Torkel said he was empty inside. Not even royalty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Torkel is losing his fucking mind. And Prince's expression. I lost the duel. So Askeladd gets to live, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Thorfinn saved him so that he can body him. <laughs> Prince. So did he, Torkel lo lose his sight? Did Torfin literally gouge out his sight? <laughs> oh my god, bro. I fucking love Kanute. Yeah, that was his plan. 
The Golden Goose. Askeled Villa is Askeled Kevin Faces. <laughs> I just got chills, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no value. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I do. I don't know what So, what is he planning right now? Yeah, that was his. Prediction. Oh my god. Holy shit, Kanute! Oh my god. This is about to be so fucking wild. But with you on our side, Orkel, it's possible. <laughs> there is no fear in his heart anymore. Nope. This is Torkel's test right now. Oh my god, he's scared, bro. He would fucking decapitate him with that punch. <laughs> oh my god. It's Thor's, bro. What do you see with those eyes of yours? Shit. Holy shit, is this show so good, bro? <laughs> He's gonna fall off the prince, bro. Why didn't I fall off Thor's back then? <laughs> I fucking knew it, bro. There we go. Oof. That's fine, yeah. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Look at him, man. I mean, who can blame him? Oh, he's still here. At one moment he was about to die, and suddenly everything is so fucking perfect for Askeladd and his plans. And he hears Torkel on his side. I will serve you with everything I have. Oh my god, bro! It's so fucking good! And of course, Prince Kanuta won't kill him. That is your atonement. Bro. Bro! We watched the drinking span of his throne. <laughs> And I like how Torkel, there is so much more to Torkel than him just being a brute and fight the junkie. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Holy fucking shit, man. I honestly can't believe this, man. This is so fucking insane. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that laugh of Askeladz, man. <laughs> the laugh of the, the, like the evil love, but also the love like everything is going according to my plan, bro. <laughs> that was so amazing. Bro, this show is too good, man. I'm not joking. It's too good. I really like that Torkel, that there is more to him and that someone like Torkel is also seeking the answers to the question, what does it mean to be a true warrior? Oh my god, just like Askeladd compared Prince Kanute to Thor's, this time Torkel saw in Prince Kanute's eyes the same thing that he saw in Thor's eyes. And he said, why didn't I follow him back there? And now he has a chance to follow Kanute and to finally learn what it 
truly means to be a true warrior. And I really like that parallel with Askeladd as well. Askeladd offered to follow Thor's as a joke, he says, but we know that that wasn't a joke. So, uh, Torkel still does not understand what it means to be a true warrior, but this time he's not gonna make a mistake and he will actually follow uh, Prince Kanute. And it's going to be so fucking epic, man. They, they intend to take down King Swain, bro. So, Prince Kanute knew that his father uh, sent him to kill him. It was... Uh, I, I, for some reason, I don't know if they mentioned that, that if they did, I completely forgot that detail, I can't recall, I know that Ragnar was talking about it, saying it to Askeladd when he was dying, and I like how, now that Kanute changed, when Askeladd said that he killed Ragnar, he still made that angry face, he looked at him with disgust, but he quickly forgot about it, and he was saying, uh, you serving me will be your atonement, you will replace, replace Ragnar, I'm sorry. And we go back a few episodes ago as well, Askeladd said something along the lines, we all choose who are we going to follow, right? And he's following Prince Kanute as well, because of his views and because he knows what it means to be a true warrior and a true warrior needs no sword. I really enjoyed that flashback scene of Thor's, it makes sense that Thor's went back to pick up Helga and... Yelva, <laughs> Torkel tried to stop him and Thor's uh, quickly dealt with Torkel, man, without any weapons, man. That is definition of savage. Also, in regards of their duel, that was insane. Thorfinn literally poked his eyes. I don't know, did he lose his eye? I am not quite sure, but they patched his eye up. If he did, that's crazy. He lost two fingers and an, and an eye to Thorfinn, bro. Thorfinn is scary. To be honest, Askeladd came up with the plan. I doubt that Thorfinn would think uh, something like that. But And besides, Askeladd intervened. So you can say that Thorfinn kind of cheated, right? Because it wasn't... Uh, clear one-on-one -on -one duel because Askeladd used his sword to reflect the sunlight into Torkel's eyes and he blinded him for a second and in that moment Torfin jumped and kicked him uncon to unconsciousness and he jumped him and <laughs> got his eye man that was so fucking brutal but I like that everything played out the way it did so now we have Askeladd who survived, Torfin and Torkel who survived Prince Kanute being a completely different man and proper leader, Askeladd realized that the first, immediately, without even uh, seeing Prince Kanute talk, and we know that Askeladd can read people's faces, so it makes sense, and now they are going for King Swain, so they will fight Harald and Swain, both of them, I guess. It's going to be so fucking interesting. So Thorgrim survived, but he lost his mind, and... When people say there are some <sighs> things worse than that, bro, like, I don't know, I consider that when a person loses their mind to be one of those things, man, that's honestly such a terrifying thing, being alive and not knowing who you are, not having any memories, not knowing, not being aware, what the hell are you doing? So yeah, like, people losing control over their minds is, in my opinion, one of the worst things that can happen to a human being. And Thorgrim is the only one who survived, man, Atli, fuck it, man, I mean, it's better if he joins us now, like, I don't know where is Bjorn and Priest, we didn't get to see them, but yeah, that was... Yet another such an incredible episode, man. It's amazing. I will end the video here for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. As always, check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya, guys.